Welcome back to my channel, Aligning With My Soul, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love and support I've been getting, um, and thank you for leaving comments. It means so much um, for you to share your stories and how you're actually feeling. So um, I'm really excited about where this channel's heading at the moment, um, and I'm really enjoying doing it. So as most of you know, but I'll say it anyway for the new subscribers, this is... Um, me tapping into the masculine energy because I know how important it is for the person that's watching to know what is going on and how God is supporting the masculine at the moment and um, you'll be the conscious one, the positive polarity so um, you're like what we call the divine feminine um, but obviously they're just labels, feminine and masculine just labels so just take it how it resonates to you and put it into your situation. I realise it's only energy, so don't be offended by me saying masculine, feminine, or him, her, he, she. So um, just put it into your situation and circumstances. So, um, And it's for people that are in some kind of twin flame challenge or separation um, when you're not with the physical person. I like to say preparation more than separation because you are one soul. And you're never apart from this person because you're just one. It's just that you're away from the physical person while you're, and you're preparing, both of you are preparing to come back together if that's what you're wanting. Um, and if you are watching this video, um, I would say that that's what you do really want if you're honest with yourself. Um, you do want to be back with that person and you want to attract that person and you want to concentrate on your spiritual journey so that can happen. So... Um, I'm just going to use Archangel Michael cards today because they're beautiful messages and yeah, they're very loving and very clear from God and Archangel Michael what's actually going on with his energy and then I'm going to use the Angel Oracle cards uh, from Ambika Waters, just one card from there, just for sort of the overall energy and then I'll get a card for you at the end to help you focus and give you strength and what message God's got for you today. And then I go to my pots either side. This is the energy pot of how he's feeling towards you, where he's at, and what you'd like to communicate with you in the other pot um, if you had the opportunity and what he's saying to you in the 5D. Um, so I'm interested to see what the cards are going to say today because we've just um, started the new moon phase. So it's been quite strong, heavy energy, and it's definitely affected me. Um, I'm feeling very emotional and uh, feeling a lot of pain and discomfort where it makes me feel like I want to go to the ground. So um, if you've been feeling like that, leave comments in, you know, down below just to, s <laughs> to say well, how you've ex been experiencing um, the new moon and how it's affected you because it's definitely affected me where you just continue to keep crying and wanting to go to the floor or to the ground because it's so uncomfortable and painful um, and I like to share that with you as well because I know that it could be helping people because if it's happening to you it's nice to know that it's happening to other people as well and the same for me if you leave comments it helps me as well it's about helping each other um, and that's the purpose of this channel and I'm, a pro I'm in the process of Aligning with my soul, um, because my spiritual journey was triggered by my twin flame. So I know how you're feeling and I know how uncomfortable it is and how painful it is sometimes, but it is a blessing and so beautiful. You've been blessed to experience this, so always remember that even though you're feeling pain and feeling uncomfortable, always remember that you've been blessed with this because it's about unconditional love. It's about pure love. So, I'm going to start shuffling and ask God. I've asked God to help me channel this reading today. So, can we have a nice clear message for the viewer today? God, um, how are you assisting the masculine? How is he feeling towards the person that's watching? Um, how is he progressing? His energy in general, please. Um, oops. Keep shuffling because I need a good shuffle. 
how are you helping and assisting the masculine at the moment? How's his, how's his energy and how's it coming along? And how is he feeling towards the person that's watching today? Sense of humour again, so he must be in a lighter energy. Um, Honour and trust your feelings, <laughs> the same cards are coming out. How funny is that? And I'm going to go down here a bit. Go forward fearlessly. So that's good. I've got my book here as well to go more in depth with the message, so I might use that. And I'm going to take one of these cards, or cards from Ambeek Waters, just to get one card from here. Okay, what is the message today for the viewer? How's the masculine it's energy? read sense of humour. Thank you for helping me see the humour in this situation so I can lovely laugh and at human nature. I want to view my experience in a new light order to attract love and healing energy. So he is looking at this situation um, with his feminine and the situation where he's wanting that's finding well how he's finding it so how he has been finding it so difficult in the past, he's looking at it, he's got a different view on it, he's feeling better about it, much more, not such a, um, he's not as afraid um, about how he's feeling, he feels like it's, it's manageable, that he can actually do it, um, so it's a, lot, it's a lighter energy, and he's willing to He's willing to actually, want, you know, actually do something about this new experience, this new thing that he wants, this new life, this new beginning. Um, so that's what the sense of humour means. He's just have got a lighter energy, and he's got a different outlook on it. I'm going to get a clearer message from the book. So this situation would benefit from your sense of humour. View your experience as if you were watching a scene from a movie, keeping it in mind, as Shakespeare said, that all the world's stage. What do you find humorous about human nature in this scenario? By getting a new perspective on everyone's behaviour, you can automatically detach with love. Humour allows people to drop their defences so that love can end and heal situation and relationships that's why god and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor and so do you the possible specific meanings know that laughter is the best medicine watch a funny movie or tv show to boost your mood your life's purpose may involve com uh, writing acting or speaking learn some new jokes a way to help you help your relationships and roll in standing up comedy can't stand up comedy class to increase your speaking skills and self-confidence so what i'm getting from that as well what i said is he's looking at this situation and in much more of a loving way he's opened his heart to this situation his relationship with divine feminine he hasn't got such a harsh or you know stuck energy where he's feeling so serious, so, and God is helping him fill and open his heart to this situation and the more love that he's feeling, the more it opens um, and obviously when you're feeling the love, it helps you with the courage and the confidence that he's longing for to be able to do something about this situation. 
And in the card you can see he's got, um, he's looking very strong and moving forwards. Funny enough, this card says go forwards fearlessly and it looks like he's going forwards fearlessly. He's um, definitely got a better view on the situation. And we have had this card come out a few times, so he's gradually f feeling better about the situation and having a lighter, just a better way of looking at it instead of being like, oh my God, this is impossible, I can never do this. He's, um, he's willing, he's more willing and to do something about this situation and when he's in that energy he's attracting more love and healing to the things that he needs to heal and you know God's with him and helping him on this process and Archangel Michael so that's interesting so that's a really good energy to be in um, so, because he definitely wants this new beginning, it's just all the other stuff, the negativity and the past and um, his mind, his ego is stopping him from actually doing something about it. So, having a lighter um, and a different way of looking at this situation is helping him um, attract more love and healing energy towards himself as well in this situation. Okay, this is honour and, sorry, honour and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. So this came out in the last reading. So he's definitely been helped and assisted by trusting his own feelings and his intuition and his own knowing that everything's okay about how he's feeling and acting upon them, doing something about it not staying stuck and helping him understand why he's feeling it so he could be getting information about this journey, this twin flame journey that he's on, um, about his divine feminine, about this relationship he has, this connection he has with you, the person's watching. Um, and for him, for God to be able to help him show and express and understand his feelings and express it in the right way this time because it could be you could be in a situation where he, he's not expressed it in the, the way that he wanted to in the past and he wants to do it right this time um, now he's opened his heart and he's been he's attracted love and healing to himself so he wants he feels that he, he can and now he understands as well, he can um, open his heart and actually deal with his feminine in a different way and express his love and emotions to her in a different way, with love. Um, because he could have been hiding it before or not truly showing how he feels. Um, but he's more in an energy where he's in the present and accepting how he's feeling because God's helping him. Um, to, to know that it's okay to feel that way and to trust his um, intuition and honour his feelings and it's okay to feel that way however difficult or how uncomfortable it is that this is the way you feel and you've got to trust your own feelings and you have your own knowing and that's definitely as I said to you in, I think in the last reading a message and my twin flame journey and the spiritual journey that I'm on is about uh, knowing and trusting your intuition um, because I have this knowing and the more I go on this spiritual journey the more knowing I get and the more you know whatever's going on in the 3D or whatever's going on externally to you you know it could not make sense to what you actually know but it's about trusting that knowing and you can't see results in the 3D of how you're feeling and what you, you know. It is can be very frustrating and put you off and sidetrack you. But the more and more you go on this spiritual journey, you can get through that and actually just go, well, I know, and not be triggered and stuff by, by stuff that's happening in the 3D, just to know and trust your feelings and you know you have this knowing. So that's... I can identify with this card, so that is how God is helping the masculine as well at the moment because you're mirroring each other. 
Um, and then it's got Go Forward Fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life purpose. So he's been encouraged to go forwards fearlessly. This is the right time, this is divine timing, um, and God is there supporting him and encouraging him to actually do that, and giving him confidence and the courage to. So he's still in that energy, so he's in a very good energy. Um, He's feeling the love um, and his thoughts are in a good place at the moment as well and it's about action as well and God is directing him and showing him that this is, you know, how he's feeling, to trust his feeling, this is the right path for you, this is your life purpose, go for it, fear, you know, go forward fearlessly because this is the right way and he's been supported by Archangel Michael and God so much um so this is a beautiful card um i think as well my intuition is telling me that he's getting a lot he's got more understanding and so much more knowledge on this situation he's definitely awake and you know for a while now we can see that the masculine has been awake and um so he's got so much more understanding of this relationship he has with the Divine Feminine and he's feeling the love and wanting to share the love and um, he's getting his confidence and courage and God is guiding him for that to, to be able to do that and that path so if you're sitting there I know that some of you will be thinking oh well I've heard that all before and you're frustrated and angry it's something that you need to deal with because it's about patience, spiritual journey is about patience and it will happen in divine timing and all these cars are saying is that God is supporting him and things will happen when they're meant to happen and you can't maybe see any progress but a lot is going on behind the scenes um, and anything you are seeing in the 3D is just an illusion um, so you just need to keep believing and to trust your intuition and your knowing as well and just concentrate on your own spiritual journey and you know if you're noticing different things that are affecting you be aware of it and actually go well why is that affecting me um, what do I need to learn that's how I deal with it and I'm not saying that I don't get triggered and I don't get upset about certain things of course I do but now I've got the awareness that that's actually happening and I went, I'm aware that it's my ego, it's not my soul, it's my ego, it's not me that's doing it, that's feeling that um, trigger, it's just the ego breaking down um, and that's why it's so painful and discomfort sometimes because it's your ego breaking down, it's the pain body breaking down so please stay patient and believe in your masculine just keep believing in him don't think about what he was like think about now and um, think about how much you've grown and changed in the process of this journey and he's done that as well and um, the more you're healing and the more you're aware and you're in a better energy is sending it to your masculine and you can see that you're doing a good job so I would say the people that are watching you probably aren't feeling so angry and frustrated anymore, you are feeling patient and you've got an understanding that it is a process and just believe and trust, you know, God is helping him and Archangel Michael assisting him how he needs to and you will see the results that you want to when you concentrate on your own spiritual journey and poke your nose out because <laughs> uh, there's nothing to do, it's not for you to do, it's just for you, to, well, it's for you to concentrate on yourself, it's about unconditional love for yourself and when you can do that, that's when your masculine will come to you if that's what you're wanting. And as I said, if you're watching this video, that is what you're wanting if you're honest with yourself. And um, if you have pressed, you know, if you've clicked on this video, I would say there is a message for you today because you're drawn to something that, you know, Usually when you're, you click on a video, you're, you, there's a reason for it for you to 
get a message for you today. So, and it's a timeless reading as well. So, it doesn't matter when you've tapped onto this video. There is a message for you. And if none of it resonates with you, that's not a problem. You would just click off and move on. Right, so we've got Serenity from Ambika Waters. It says, I feel serene and tranquil when I accept who I am. Yeah. <clears throat> so, when he accepts himself for who he is, not trying to change himself, accept the situation, honour and trust his feelings, he feels um, tranquil, he feels happy and um, in a good loving energy and everything around him will change as well he'll be able to see that abundance after abundance sitting there waiting when he can accept who he is um and i would say as well for the person that's watching that's a message for you as well because i can definitely resonate with that um because i am on you know in the process of trying to accept who I am and accepting that I am good enough and about that, you know, as this journey is about unconditional love, so it, all of this kind of stuff is really coming up for me at the moment. I'm feeling very uncomfortable. So when you accept who you are and know that you're good enough and love yourself and know your self worth and all those things, you can. Everything's just tranquil, isn't it? Um, serenity so that is what how um, the masculine's energy is the more and more he's open in his heart he's getting that healing and accepting that it's okay to be who he is he is good enough and however he's feeling that's you know it's fine it, 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 just accept it so um, that's a beautiful card, a really beautiful card. So the energy again is really good and positive, I think, um, and it's still unfolding in a beautiful way. Um, and we, as I said, we've had a new moon, a new moon. So um, with the new moon, there's lots of new beginnings and um, lots of things resolved and stuff. So let me know in the comments down below. If you're finding anything that's changed in your journey with your twin flame or how you've been feeling like i said before in the, with the new moon the new moon that's happening at the moment if you feel like you're shifting stuff and lots of things are coming up for you to deal with and for me it's about accepting who i am and knowing that i'm good enough um just in general good enough to accept who you are and feeling good about yourself and accepting the feelings that you have about your twin flame and all lots of different emotions so right i'm going to go into the energy pots now see where his energy is at and how he's you know feeling towards you the person that's watching so this be interesting Freedom, so he's feeling freedom. He wants freedom from this situation. Um, and he's feeling freedom and free from this burden all the time because he's, he's learning to accept how he's feeling and learning to accept who he is. So he's feeling the freedom, so he's in a good energy. Um, and he knows there's freedom, it'd be even more freedom when he comes towards the person. Forgive me. Oh, that's what did I say in this reading? Oh, that's really sad. Forgive me. He wants you to forgive him. Um, and that would be part of his freedom as well. And he knows that you forgive him. And that is part of this journey. It's about forgiveness. It's a big part of this journey. It's about forgiveness. Not necessarily just your twin flame from other people in your life and about forgiving yourself for the things that you've done wrong as well. 
and yeah, letting go and having this unconditional love and to be able to forgive for the things that have happened in the past so you can have this new beginning. And once he wants he will need you to forgive him and that would be good if you if you are in that energy of being able to forgive because you're that energy will he will know that you've forgiven him if you have done it. But it's a very deep process when you're forgiving somebody. Sometimes you think that you have forgiven somebody and then something else will come up that'll make you annoyed again or it will remind you of something. So that's he wants you to forgive him and and that will help this process. What God and Archangel Michael are helping him with. So he wants you to forgive him. Um, what would he like to communicate? This is exciting. What would he actually say to you if he had a chance? And what's he saying to you in the 5D? I'm sorry I've kept my true feelings from you again. So this is definitely something that's coming up. And we've got forgive me. So maybe he's never told you how he feels. Um, his true feelings anyway. And he's sorry about that and he wants you to forgive him. And that comes out a lot. So this is definitely the energy and lots of things, the people that I'm drawn to watch, that I've, um, spiritual teachers and uh, saying the same thing, that this is the process of masculine, is about his coming, he wants forgiveness and about coming away from the mask, you know, letting the mask down and stop hiding his feelings. So he's obviously not told you his true feelings. And he needs you to forgive him for that. What else would he even say to you? Please forgive me, oh my gosh. This is about forgiveness, this reading. That's the energy as well that he's in. He's, he wants you to forgive him for, for, the, for the stuff that's happened. Whatever's happened in your situation. If you can resonate with this, so... Those are the messages that have come out today. He will get the freedom when he, he knows that you've forgiven him. And he, he's feeling the freedom the more and more this is unfolding, this is the energy he's in, the more he's trusting his feeling. And now he's got a different outlook on this situation, a better view on it. Um, he knows it's more possible and he's been guided to go ahead fearlessly once he can accept who he is and to forgive himself, he needs to forgive himself as well. Because that's the past and it's about the now, isn't it? So he needs you to forgive him for not telling you, the person that's watching his true feelings. So this is really, um, it's a lovely um, energy. So work on your forgiveness people are watching so it can help your masculine. Um, it doesn't mean to say that you have to be in touch with that person or do anything. It's about your energy, your forgiving energy and um, just being balanced and yeah, just being forgiveness. So um, I'm going to get a message for the person that's watching today. So what God would like to say to you and these are the cards that the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. So this card is for you. So what would God like to tell you today? And what is the message for you today, God? What is the message? A nice, clear message. What would you like the person to know that's watching today? Smile. I had a feeling that this card was going to come up. <laughs> Smile. 
Okay, so smile is really is that simple. When you smile, it creates beautiful, happy energy and helps lift your vibrations. Even when it's time to seem, even when times seem tough, smile and it will help. Action to take. This is one easy step, and that's to smile. <laughs> and the powerful affirmation is, I smile at life, and life smiles back at me. And uh, this is beautiful, because it is just that easy. When you do smile, um, it makes you feel better. And it makes other people around you smile and feel better. And they can feel your love, and you, you, can, you just shine. And share your light and love with them as well so this is really important to actually smile it's good for you and the more and more i'm doing these readings and this channel it's just really peculiar because it sounds like i'm talking about myself a lot but it's like all these cards and it's i can really resonate with it so it's about what's showing me about maybe um sharing more about my journey because smile, that's what I do. I, I smile. Um, I've been, been doing a lot of smiling. And like we said in the other cards about um, you, you, other people are very attracted to you, um, your energy. Um, and, you know, I, I find that I, I smile and you, the feedback that you get from other people is amazing. And the feeling to see them smile makes me so happy. And sometimes you could be feeling absolutely really broken inside, but when you smile, it does make you feel better. It makes you feel love. And then you know the other person's feeling love. So this is definitely happening in my experience. So let me know again if you're feeling this, um, that you're doing this, that you're actually ha having this experience, because I'd be really interested to know. And sorry if it sounds like I'm showing what's happening with me but these cards and everything that's happening to me um that I'm sharing with you is just unbelievable and it's a bit, it's encouraging me and pushing me to actually maybe share more of my story and that's what I want to do eventually when I'm more confident is to share my story as it unfolds um how I'm aligning with my soul and how my journey started and how it unfolds again like I said so I hope you really enjoyed this reading and you found it helpful in some way um, me sharing some of my experiences and feelings um, and how it's affecting me um, I hope you're in a good place and you're, you're strong and you're able to keep smiling so keep smiling because that is a good way of helping this situation. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It means so much to me. And um, I'll tap into the masculine energy in a couple of days. Um, I'm sending my love, support and light to you all. Um, and I'm thinking of you all. And I'll see you in a few days. Bye.